The only difference is this one you have to pay for. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Scare. The Mercedes Benz Interview Lounge. Oh, look at that. It's always exciting when Bobby Flay rolls in. <laughs> look at that. You rolled in. You rolled up, then you rolled up and rolled in. How do I put the volume on in this thing? Oh, wow. Here we go. Here. I, I gave you this. <laughs> oh, I gave you this great intro. You're like, oh, they're oh, there. pushing buttons. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Do I have to redo my intro? It was a great intro. Start over. You know, do it again. Yeah, do it again. Ladies wow. and gentlemen, look, look, I just rolled in. Always exciting when Bobby Flay's here. Oh yeah, yeah Bobby. Yay. I'm yeah, sorry. Standing ovation. Now Thank it you. sounds like a lie. No, it's <laughs> the first one was great. You know, I'm not here enough, and I say that every time. Mm-hmm. And and honestly, when you guys were down in Tribeca. Mm-hmm. I used to come on all the time. Oh, we, we were close to you, that's why. Not, yes, but also, <laughs> I don't know, I feel like you guys got more regimented in your scheduling. I could just stop by this now. Is cr- this is a load of crap. You could still <laughs> just stop by. Nate doesn't book me. Oh! oh God. Wait, wait, I on. actually wrote wait, it in his oh. book. I, I, Nate I, is I, unreliable and a flake. Back up the truck here. There, there was somebody yeah. in this, this room had a little thing called a birthday. Oh, and we were desperately trying to get his favorite person I, in here. Just, well, well, look, he can't come every day. <laughs> I didn't realize. But, but yes, but he canceled on us last I minute. Did. It was not good. I know. Okay, oh, no. it happened. It happened. Hey. Here it goes. But I you, wish him a happy birthday. By the way, I, if anyone's going to pick on him, it's me. Okay, sorry. We'll stop. That's my job. We'll stop now. I love that you're here. And I if, love if, being if, here. If you can come here more, that'd be great. But I know you're busy, especially with this beautiful book. Look at this beautiful, it big is beautiful. ass. It's a big ass book, man. It's this big ass this book. Bobby Flay big ass book. May I see it? Yes. May I touch it? Oh, sure. Here. Oh, I'm scared. Wait, did, you, did you give him his book yet? No, one of them. Do I have to put on here. gloves? One of his fa- no, I feel like this is Scotty. What, yeah. what, I, I, I feel like I'm... Froggy why don't you, you guys have the books? I have my book. Uh, is that for Elvis? Why is no, very why, heavy. Why is no one ready? Why? I don't know. This is beautiful. Bobby, you've had, you have a lot of books. Not like this. 18. This is, this is different. 18? This is my 18th book. This oh, is different. This, yes. this, this land's different. They're all the same recipes. I, was gonna I, say. <laughs> I just put a different cover on them. <laughs> Stop. No, but look, look at the, the photography. Uh, the photography is outrageous. How I mean, long does that take? Uh, to to make this book? No, to take the pictures. We it probably took us about two and a half weeks. Uh, every single moment of every single day. It was it was amazing. The it, uh, it's stunning. The photographer is a guy named Johnny Miller, who's just just you know. No, John Miller. Johnny Miller. Never met him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you. I, it, it's a fancy book. It's, now, a, fan, it's but, a coffee table book. Okay, but, but let's be very, very clear here. These recipes are legit. I, I want people to use the recipes as well. There's got to be a way they can go online to get the recipes so they don't have to get the book all messy. In the Absolutely kitchen. not. Go to Amazon and buy the book. <laughs> <laughs> How much is the book? Because wow. this that's is a not, heavy book. That's not what I'm <laughs> saying. You? It's nothing. Flay, oh, Flay, Flay. What? <laughs> everyone needs to have the book, but not to have in a kitchen because they get it all nasty. No, but I want this is the book that I want everybody to be able to see somewhere from their from their couch. Could be on their coffee table, could be on their shelf, could be on their kitchen island. This is a this is a it's a collector's item. Wait, it's chapter one. Bobby Flay Chapter one. So that means chapter two's on the way? I haven't decided. <laughs> no. Okay, okay. Here's what I heard. Here's what I heard. <laughs> You'll be so busy on our show, you won't have time to write chapter two. I mean, I, there is going to be a chapter two, but I, it's probably going to be more um, about my travels overseas. I want to hear more about that, too. Now, we're going to get to that in a minute. Hey, uh, I heard there's essays and things in here. There are essays. I, I wrote I every single word of it. I don't see any. There's lots of... What do you mean you don't or, see or, anything? I don't see any essays. In every chapter, there's an essay that starts the chapter, and basically the essays are... They, they, they are... I wrote the essays based on the food and like the memories and where the re- what restaurants they they were cooked in and right. how I came up with them and you know there's lots of lots of backstory. It's not a memoir. I don't want people to think it's a memoir, but <laughs> there's definitely stories. When's that coming out? Never. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want to lick every picture. Oh, okay, okay. that's just uh, disgusting. God, you're gross. Please. Go, go right don't, ahead. Don't, 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 do not encourage Please do. that. Actually, I wrote in Skiri's book, now you can cook your own Bobby Flay steak because he would always go to my restaurant in Atlantic City and there's a couple of dishes from Bobby Flay steak in there. And, um, you know, the only difference is this one you have to pay for. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow, Skiri. Wow. Damn. Wow. Because you have to go to the store wow. and buy the meat. I mean, exactly. He doesn't right. like that. Okay, I've been told that you, <laughs> you, since you are on book tour mode, and you got to go over to see uh, uh, Rosanna Scotto at yeah. Good Day. We yeah. got, we got to stick day, to man. our time and get you out of Good here, day, New York. So therefore, we we have to talk. We have to get into this. All right, well, should we talk about the America's Favorite Celebrity Chefs um, poll that came Th- that out? That was complete 
BS. Garbage. It is. Oh. I don't. I don't get it. But go ahead. Go okay, ahead. so it's swnsdigital.com. Oh, they very did a poll. Reputable. They said that they talked to two thousand people. Wow. And they wanted to know who their favorite chef was, and. You came in third. Rachel Ray came in second, and Gordon Ramsay came in at number one. Yeah, mm. I mean, Gordon Ramsay's very, very popular, and Rachel Ray is very, very popular, so I'll take third. Yeah, then came Martha Stewart. You yeah. came before Martha. <laughs> I know. And before Emeril Lagasse. Okay, let's let's break it down. Okay. Not a lot of good chefs on that list, except uh, for Bobby Flay. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Thank you. No, nice. I, no offense. I mean, there's, nice. there's, you have TV personalities on that yeah. list. Well, Gordon's a chef. I mean, Gordon's a chef. He's got great restaurants in overseas. And okay. Stuff. All right. Well. Okay. Wow. Also, what? <laughs> You're the chef. Thank you. <laughs> we're friends, though, Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what else are we gonna talk about? <laughs> hey, I don't think. I don't know where this came from. I just thought this, but I, just because you ask someone to dinner doesn't mean it's a date. <laughs> Did you listen to Kristen Cavallari's? I'm sorry, pardon me? Did you listen to Kristen Cavallari's podcast? Don't even know who that is. I'm just, I'm just saying for a fact. Just because you, Let me ask you a question. Wait, did you guys... Wait, come on. No, no, let me ask, let me ask you a question. here? Wait. Let, let, let me ask you... Table. Kristen, come out. <laughs> let me ask you a question. If Let's say I'm in LA, in LA and you, you say, hey, I'm in LA for a night. Let's go out and have dinner. I don't think that's a date. Well, this is the debate that I was having with her about this because I was going to Nashville... For a single day. Who? Who is this we're talking about? Kristen Cavallari. She's an old friend of mine. So I said, can you... I said I said to... No, the words I used exactly were, I'm coming to Nashville for one night. Can I take you to dinner? And what, Sh- chime in, Danielle. What, chime right, in. So, uh, what was her response, though? Hold yeah, on. Her hold response it. was, um, I'm already dating somebody. And I was like, what? I just want to take. I want to go to dinner with you. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? See, that's I, crap. But I think maybe y- you phrased, "Can I take you?" Is to the word dinner. "taking"? I can I take you? Maybe if hey, you want to meet me for dinner, like an old friend type of thing, like that. Oh, maybe God. that would have been better. All I would have right. totally right. thought you were asking me out on a yeah. date. Really? I'm like, oh, Bobby Flay wants to date me. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> right. The truth was, I was asking her out. No, I'm just kidding. no, 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 no. I just, it's just, I don't know. I, I, don't I didn't it. think about it. So do you have to say every time, "Hey, may we go out as friends for dinner tonight"? I mean, that's no. awkward. How about you say you pay? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Why not? Bring your credit card, Kristen. <laughs> all right. Well, no. I no, mean, I, I don't know why that came up in my head. I well, it came up because it's like all over the like p- you know People Magazine wrote three stories about the yeah. about oh. the podcast already. I, I don't I don't read People, so I don't know. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, you by the live way, in People Magazine. <laughs> hey, can we talk about this book? We're, we're here to celebrate his new book, Bobby Flay. Celebrate it, Bobby Flay, Chapter One. Beautiful photography. Put it on the coffee table. Don't have a coffee table. William Sonoma Home has them. It you can, can buy be one. your coffee table. It it's really got is, it's, it's big. Now you are actually going to be at a William Sonoma today. Tonight. Tonight. Wh- which one? Columbus Circle. Um, I was I had dinner there last night. Where? Oh, at Twin Tails. What's that? Oh, the new um the new restaurant. You haven't been? No. It's the new restaurant. Everyone's talking about it. You go to every new opening. (laughs) You go to the opening of an envelope. (laughs) (laughs) I go to to the opening of a a wound. You try to get him to do that. No, no. Quality quality restaurants, they have a brand new one. It's called Twin Tails. It's unbelievable. It's on the same floor as as, as Bad Maybe I'll stop by, although I'm going to the Yankee game tonight. Oh, Oh. Oh, my husband and son are going too. Oh yeah. I'm sure wait, wait. Tell him I said hey. I how can you <laughs> wait, wait, wait? How can you do William Sonoma at Columbus like, Circle and the Yankee game at in the both night? Well, both because night. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do the signing at six o'clock. What is it? Six o'clock, right? Yeah. I'm gonna do the signing at six o'clock. I'm gonna sign books. Hopefully, somebody will show up, and then um, I'm gonna get on the train and go to Yankee Stadium. Yeah, Which train? We're way. all gonna get on the train with Bobby <laughs> Flay. Four train, baby. Do you New have a disguise, City. or you just what raw dog that train? Do you wear a disguise? Disguise. <laughs> I don't know. No. If I, I, w- I, I would. I would. Want- so I guess he raw dogs that train. I'm I on the so. subway. I'm all, like almost every day. I'm in New York City. Nobody bothers you. No, no. Not, I mean, I f- sometimes. But I not feel really. like New York is pretty. Like they don't care. Pretty people are really chill when they see a celebrity on the on the street. I don't right. know why. Yeah, they never recognize us because <laughs> <laughs> we're not celebrities. I love the subway. It's the best way to get around New York mm-hmm. easily. So I got to take you out on a dinner date. Not a date. But you're gonna dinner. take me out. I'm gonna take you out. I'm gonna take you to. I want to take you to this restaurant called. I just gave you the name of it. Ama. No, I, that one too. Okay, that's oh. next. Uh, twin Tails. Oh, Twin Tail. What kind of food is it? 
it's uh, Asian. It's it's great, and this is the first foray into Asian. This group does it have a view? Or, yes, or it, it looks right at the at the at the obelisk or whatever that thing is in the middle of the circle. Mm. Oh, okay, but well, it's not on top of the building or anything like that. It's like four yeah. floor, floors up. Hey, yeah, there's a restaurant in Jersey we have to take you to called Ama. Ama, yeah. Wait till you take you. You love Italy. You I you do. will feel like you're in Italy. And the chefs from Italy. Yeah, he's oh, from I'm, Naples. Yeah, Naples. Oh, and he says Napoli. he's not a chef; he's a cook. He's a chef. These are his mother's recipes. I, I appreciate that. No, you're gonna love this guy. Okay. Oh my God, we've got dates. It doesn't mean it's romantic, Bobby. <laughs> well, it's just us as friends. <laughs> yes. I know you'll try to put your arm around me. We're dating. We're exactly. dating. <laughs> hey, okay. So putting this book together, the photography, uh, the recipes, everything, the essays. Um, it's it, making a book is not an easy task. No, it takes a, it takes a very long time. It takes a lot of focus. You know, you. I mean, for me, when I'm writing books like this, I, you know, I go in and out of like working on it. You know, you, I can't, I can't work on it on it every day. I just have to have that that creative moment where I start, you know, writing and putting the recipes down and stuff like that. It's just, it's a process. I have a question. How many books did you say you have? Eighteen. So now, so you have so many books. So what makes you say, you know, what I have another one in me? Only if I do. Really? I mean, it, it all depends on what's going on in my life in terms of my career and stuff and what I'm interested in. And so, like you said, oh, chapter one. I mean, obviously, it, it's sort of the book is kind of ironic. It's chapter one, but it's a hundred recipes. It's it's a hundred of my most important recipes over the thousands that I've that I have in my career. Um, and so, I I I've been wanting to write this book for decades. And so now was the right time for me to do it. Wow. Hmm. See, that's that's kind of telling about you and where you are, where you feel you are in your career and life. Mm -hmm. If it comes to a point where you have to do this type of book, where are you in your career? Well, that's that the life? whole point of the of the of the title, which is, this is a this is a pinnacle moment of my career. Let me let me bring you up to date, but that I'm just getting started. I love that. Yeah. Mm. When are you coming out to my soybean farm? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do with the soybeans? Yes, do you make tell tofu? Him. Soybeans? You do all sorts of things with soybeans. Please tell us. Well, you sell them to, <laughs> to other people that make stuff. Mm. Soybeaneries. No, I mean, okay, I have a point here. Like, I'm at a point in my career where I'm thinking about, well, okay, okay, I, you live, you're born here, you're dying here, I've had this much time. Left, no, right? but I will tell what you. What am I going to do? I'm going to have a soybean farm. One of the things that I, I've always loved about you, Elvis, and we've known each other for a long time now, is that you are always looking to enjoy your life outside of that microphone. I'm lazy. No, you're not lazy. <laughs> you you are you you you're actually proactive in making sure that you enjoy the hard work that you've put in. Seriously, I'm not I'm not kidding. That. And it's one of the things I've always appreciated about you. You know, whether it's out you know west in Santa Fe or whatever, whatever. Like you go to the places that you want to be happy in. It's really it's actually very inspiring. But are you I, doing this? I'm starting to. Yeah, you work a lot, Bobby. I do work a lot, and I don't mind work. I'm not a listen. I am not a workaholic. I love working. I have a great work ethic, and I love what I do because I'm lucky that I, I, I get to cook for a living in many different ways. But I also like my time off. Trust me. I'm okay with it. I'm okay not working. But what I'm usually doing when I'm not working is something in the food world. Eating, cooking, eating somebody else's food, whatever it is, discovering. It's, you know, using food as a tool to go and enjoy your life is a, real, is a really nice thing to have. I see you spending more and more time in Italy. Correct. I have a place in London, actually. Well, that's not Italy, so I don't know where that came from. <laughs> oh, yeah, from. last Wait, time he not? was here, he had to leave yeah. to go look at the apartment. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So you got it. Don't yeah. say it like that. Danielle uses my apartment in London all the time. <laughs> yeah. I wish. <laughs> I, I love London. It's one of my favorite places. Anytime. Honestly, Thanks. the food in London, I, should I say it? Yeah. The food in London is better than Paris right now. Okay, but wait a second. That's okay. I'll but, take that. I'll take wait. that. No, absolutely. And, you I, and, I, and I will... I will no question about it. But right you have to know where to go. You cannot get caught in a tourist trap. You have to no, have course. somebody who knows that. You the, know the, what I mean? The, the food in London right now is so energetic. Like, the chefs in London are cooking their butts off. And they are doing it in the best way. Very, very creative. The ethnicity of all these different cuisines is so amazingly delicious. And they're having a good time. Like, when you walk into a restaurant in London, it has energy, baby. And See, it's good. This is what I love about a London center for food or a New York center, yeah. where you have its influx from all different ethnicities. Yeah. But when you go to Italy, you know exactly what it is. It's it's from it is that, what it's it is. from that region of it's Italy. It's tradition. You just right. go back from Bologna. You're saying oh you, my God, the food, food there is so amazing? Good, it's so good. It's such a classy city. 
and the food is just off the charts. It's like everybody's in like sitting in these restaurants, out, you know, on the sidewalk, and they're eating, you know, all the charcut, like the, well, you know, uh, the the mortadella and all the. <clears throat> All those beautiful, like high-end, you know, cold cuts, so to speak, and cheeses, and right. drinking beautiful wine, and you know, lasagna bolognese with with the green noodles. We I, actually, I took my team to Rome and and Bologna, and we took a cooking class. Have you seen? You know who Evan Funky is? Have you watched the? the, the I've heard, but yeah. I've never seen. He's you know, so he's a chef in L.A. that has as a as a bunch of restaurants, and he's like a pasta expert. He makes every uh, piece or noodle of pasta completely by hand there's no machine zero oh. they roll it out by hand and they cut it by hand wow and we went to the school there in Bologna for a day it was great oh, I have a question yes you're, you talk about eating in all these different places if you had to pick one place that that's where you're going to stay and you're going to eat from now on and you can't go anywhere else is there a place Amalfi Coast I cannot there disagree you with you It's uh, there's a restaurant there called Lascolio yeah. <laughs> that you've, uh, we, you've been well I haven't been with you but I've been Yeah, I mean it's it's my favorite place in the world wow yeah. Okay. I mean, it's on the it's on the Tyranny Sea. It's right exactly. on the Mediterranean. I mean, it's just, and the food is just, and the people that own it are like my family, and like we never want to get up from the table at lunch. And it goes beyond the, yeah. the zucchini, four hour four hour zucchini, uh, pasta. zucchini pasta and like all this beautiful fish and shellfish that comes right out of the sea. There, handmade pasta by the by Tommaso, who's the brother, who's the chef. It's like wow, it's spectacular. You see, eating in London versus eating in Italy is two different things. Of course, it it's, is. it's an experience, but, but he, it's different. But here's my goal. My goal What's is goal? like if I can be in London, I can go anywhere in Europe quickly. Okay, then That's you're allowed right. to keep right. the apartment. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Outside of food, what are you doing for fun? When you say you're starting to explore all this other stuff, that's a great question. Um, obviously, not dating. <laughs> um, uh, but I'm bumped. Wow, wow. Well, <laughs> I'm single. Okay. Are you trying to put that out? Oh, here into come the, the text messages. I don't have to put it out. It's out there. Uh, <laughs> are, are, we, are they texting in? A lot of people. Oh, uh, okay, Nate. Not, you're not going to become a whore on my Nate, show. Nate, this Nate. is not going to happen. Whore it up. Oh whore, you're you're not going to whore it up. A lot of people want to go out with you, Bobby. Yeah, okay. Like, like who? Nate. I'll, I'll Nate, call, yeah. I'll call him up right now. There's, there's uh, tons of people. You know, okay, so the question was, what do you, if it's if you're not out dating, what are you doing? You I'm got, at home cooking uh, bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches for myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you're gonna go on a date, where are you taking somebody? Uh, well, it depends what city we're in. Is it gonna be a dinner, or is there something else that you would? Do? I like lunch, okay, especially if, like for a first date. That's so European of you, by the way. Well, I like long lunches that have like a little um, wine around the yeah. table, <laughs> a little intermezzo. No. So if you don't know what I Yeah, I, li I like the day drinking long lunch situation. It's really fun, and then you can go for a walk if things work out. You know, it's yeah, nice. It's good. By yeah. the way, as we said. Um, Gandhi, yes. Bobby will be at the Williams Sonoma uh, tonight at six o'clock. And he's single at the uh, Williams Sonoma oh Columbus God. Circle. They are giving away a blind date with Bobby Flay. Wow, this keeps getting better, guys. No one shows up. <laughs> no, no, really. No, buy the book, and one of the books has a certificate. Yes, <laughs> it's like Willy Wonka. Exactly, it's the, the golden ticket. ticket. I've got a magic ticket. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's the tin foil ticket. <laughs> it's that. What, scary? What? A text just came in. Hey, do Bobby. you? Does he want me to take him to the Yankee game? Just as friends. I'm going. <laughs> no, they, want to, they want you to go as a date. Oh, they want to take. We want me to take them. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Of let's, let's look. You know, it, it, this, looking at your book, the new book, by the way, it's Bobby Flay, Chapter One. Gorgeous book. If you don't have it, it it's sad for you. Sad for you. You got to get it. <laughs> but it it just kind of takes me to where you are in your life and where you are. Look, look at this. Uh, I know you did an interview the other day. You're talking about someone who actually funded your culinary school. Oh, Joe Allen. Yeah. Yeah, Joe Allen from Joe Allen. Yeah. Right? And because of that, and from that moment on, look at where you are now. Look at look at where you aimed and I, you shot. And I was you seventeen landed. years old. Right. I dropped out of high school and I went to work at Joe Allen's in New York. And long story short, um, I decided to go to culinary school after working there for about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And then um, he gave me my tuition on the first day. Okay, let's, wow. let's just yeah. like benchmark it. Joe Allen tuition, and then culinary school, and then uh, I worked in a restaurant called Brighton Grill. But then, I, then I went to work for Jonathan Waxman. He was the first person to teach me what good food was. Restaurants, yes. Well, Jams, names, Jam. Buds, Hulos. Okay. All three of his restaurants. And then, and then I was at Miracle Grill, 
Okay. Um, Keep going. East Village, and then I opened Mesa Grill when I was 25. Remember that place? I do remember it. It was open for like 26 years. I ate upstairs one day, and the air conditioning dripped in my plate. Remember that? <laughs> you have leaks and we didn't there. charge you for that. Go right. take it easy. It's all right. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, Ma- okay, Mesa Grill, and then it explodes. And then Bolo, and then Bar American, and then we opened in uh, Mesa Grill in Las Vegas, um, Bobby Flay Steak, and... In Atlantic City, so I could feed Skiri every weekend, <laughs> and then um, you missed Gato in there, and then Gato. No, Gato was it. It was was one of the last ones because uh, you know that was open for only eight years. That was the shortest run restaurant. Great restaurant because of the pandemic, we just mm. shut it. I and mean, you also shut all the Bob, the Burger Palace. Well, a lot of them. We're, op- we're reopening Bobby's Burgers now in lots of places. But keep this mm. in mind. I know you got to go in a second. But keep this in mind. I do. But while all I don't want to leave. Uh, they, we've got to keep you on time. Damn. We got to keep you on time. You're going to see Rosanna, my I sister. Know, that's your girl. That's my sister. I know. I but but then, but all the while, you're on the Food Network and you have these shows that you are spinning. That's true. And so, and now here you are. Here I am. What on are, the so, Elvis Duran show. So what are you doing today? What is, if someone said, what is your career today, Bobby Flay? You would say, I am a. I am a chef, first and foremost. I'm a cook at heart. Um, I care about my restaurants. Um, my my two restaurants in Las Vegas. I have Brasserie B and Amalfi. Mm-hmm. Um, do you, should I open another restaurant in New York? Yes. Yes, yeah. please. Really? For sure. Please. Yes. Pain in the ass, we but do it. it. Do it. No, scary needs it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you haven't eaten since I closed the last restaurant. <laughs> oh no! Look at him. He has. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, wow. That's a dig. Down goes Frazier. <laughs> <laughs> look, you know. <laughs> You have you have many, many, many adventures to come. Can I tell you something? So many people, wherever we go, everybody always says to me, I always hear you on Elvis. Now, I appreciate that because obviously you have a huge listener base, but I haven't been on as much as I really want to be. And We're always here. A, it's been a while. What? You, you have Nate, all of our I, numbers. Nate, Just Nate, text Nate, us. Nate, Nate, look me in the eye, Nate. Uh-oh. What? You can come back. Oh God! Oh. If you judge another stuff off. <laughs> I don't want to do stuff. Wa- look no at that. Everybody's to do that. shaking their heads. I'm not doing no. that crap anymore. No. no one wants to do a stuff. Well, off. first of all, Danielle would always get one of her chef friends to make the food. Yeah, yeah. Glenn. Shout out Glenn from Carmel. <laughs> and then you make fun of Andrew's mother's stuffing, yes, and then and she, she cries. She cries with her her bowling league, and it's. Just, it's <laughs> Look, you come here anytime. Just give us warning because I'm not here every morning. I'm sometimes oh. at, at the. At I the like soybean it when you're here. Bar. I'm at the toy. Oh, we're farm. not enough for you. No, no you are enough for Bobby, me. Bobby, Bobby, I'll, I'll make plans to be here. I come in when we. I'm here today because you are here. I would not be here today. That, if you no, here. that is true. Is that he true? came in because you were coming. Yeah. Really? 100. How do I get a gold microphone? Come back. <laughs> you keep coming back. You got to go on a dinner date with him first. <laughs> no, no, you don't have to do that. Cool. Hold on a second. Who is this right here? Uh, yes, Daniel Delillo. <laughs> How are you? Oh, my God. <laughs> How you doing? What's going on? It's, she's from Long Island. Can oh, you tell? How up? you doing, Danielle? <laughs> hey, listen. I got to tell you, I'm obsessed with Bobby. I want to, like, go out on a date with him. Is he available? Absolutely. <laughs> I couldn't be more oh available. <laughs> He is ready to go. I want to toast the bun. He's got his hoe bag in the in the trunk of the car, yeah. ready to stay over Delillo. tonight. All right, Daniel Delillo, uh, you're you're first up to bat, as they say. All right, cool. Oh, but, I love it. All right. Swing his bat my way. Anytime. I know he'll swing his bat your way. Thank you, Daniel. I'll be love doing you. the walk of shame oh in Long God. Island. We, we love you. Yes. There you go, Daniel Delillo, everyone. <laughs> hey, look. Okay, uh, headlines. We love Bobby Flay. Uh, we want you. As a, this is the gift, the Bobby Flay Chapter One book. It's out. Uh, you're going to see him talking about it next. You'll be at Good Day New York on, at Fox Five. Don't turn them on. Keep us on. Yep. We need the ratings. Yes. Uh, but this book is it's different. It does land different than anything else you've ever Thank done. Thank you very and much. I, so that and, was my goal. And obviously, it took some some fire some fire in the in the heart to make this come out now. It did. Thank so, you. So that's why everyone should have a copy of I it. Appreciate that. And we love you. LA, love it's you 820. You're, you're 20 seconds over. Oh, man. Uh-oh. I have to go? You don't have to go. You can stay all day. What's, this, what's our schedule? It's them. Go. You got to go. have to go? I'm oh. so go. sad he's not going to watch you play Family Feud. He's oh, so bad at this game. I wanted game. to play Family we Feud. Play we'll family do it next feud time. I'd love to. Here's the thing at Fox 5. You don't have to get there early anymore because they can't afford makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I already have true? it on. You already, you already, no, he's ready for the casket. Look yeah. at this. <laughs> 
I you actually look, thought his makeup looked pretty good. You look great. Good. It's like well, he looks good. Right there. Sit way yeah, you did a good job. I'm yeah. kidding. It's I can't a joke. really tell he has it on like, you know, like a lot of people no, that come in. You're on in the 9 o'clock hour, which is the fun hour. Right. So you're good. But, but you need to get over there so okay. they don't get All nervous. Right. All right. All right. God, we're leaving. You don't have to leave. <laughs> you could actually make it in, in 10 minutes. But I'm, okay. But I don't want anyone to get nervous. No. Because we want you to come back. You know we love you. I know. Thank you so much. I, I honestly, this is the best. It's... It's all downhill from here. Oh no! I mean, seriously, I'm gonna text Rosanna and tell her that you, you, you really, that. you really have nothing else to give. <laughs> I mean, I really, I mean, can't she just hold the book up and say go buy it, and I don't have to show up? <laughs> you know, he's gonna go over there to Good Day New York, and he's gonna smack talk us. Of course, yeah, uh, that's, totally. that's stupid. Elvis no, I love Rosanna. Rosanna has been like, uh, you know, I've been part of her family forever. Me I mean, too. I mean, literally. I mean, it's amazing. We all, we're all a family. We've yeah. got all of our sisters with me. How long has she been on that show now? <laughs> Good Day New York. Yeah, a thousand years. Yeah. I don't know. But she's been around. She's been a reporter in New York City since the 1980s. It's amazing. Wow. Look at that hairstyle. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, we love you, Bobby. Thank you. It's Bobby Flay, Chapter One. Oh, by the way, William Sonoma at Columbus Circle, 6 o'clock tonight. For a short time, then he's got to run and catch a train and go to the Yankee game. <laughs> Let's go, Yankees! Because he's way too They busy. got this. They he's got this. I hope so. Bobby Flay, everyone. Yeah. Hit him up. The Mercedes Benz Interview Lounge.